Hey guys, it's SD and, and Daryl. We're over here late uh, working on this new setup I've got. Uh, we've got our Thermo King run battery here sitting at 1266, 1267. He brought over another Thermo King that um, hopefully doesn't have a dead cell on it, but we're going to find out. But it's sitting at 946. We're running on uh, 10 transistors right now. Uh, I'm going to fire it up here in just a little bit. And if you come around the side over here, we're still running. Uh, Tri-filer coils. I've got a few of them that I still don't have hooked up. We only got 10 transistors up here and here's what we've been working on here and showing all the pictures of. This is the new three-phase. Before it really took quite a bit of effort to get it going. Uh, this one's a metal backing with uh, one inch uh, by one eighth uh, neo magnets. They're 19 pound poles. There's 12 on this rotor, 12 on the other rotor. The coils are 18 gauge wire. 230 wraps on each one. Uh, we're coming off of the coils are mounted to the plexiglass later on. I'm going to try to encapsulate them. But down here at the bottom, this is what you call a star configuration. These are all the starts of each phase phase one, phase two, and phase three. You tie them all together. Your end runs come off just like when you're talking a regular Bedini pulse. You got to start an end run. All those end runs we come off with number 10 wire coming down to a homemade uh, full wave bridge rectifier that handles three phase. You have each single phase goes right here, one, two, and three. Comes out positive and negative over to two worker batteries we have over here. These haven't been charged in a bit. In fact, I actually discharged them. We've got them hooked up 24 volts. Right now they're sitting at 24.2. So I've got uh, resistors already capped up and we're gonna see if we can get this to spin start up with the batteries already hooked up. Okay, let's see what happens here. <coughs> I'd say it started. Then I'm going to start working with the resistors. Don't have a, a potentiometer in line, just have these. She sounds like she's about 500 RPM right about now. Still need to work on these resistor values to get a better response out of it. These are all small, like 0 0.22, 0 0.27, uh, 0 0.33, even 47 ohm resistors here. There she goes, huh? I know she 
go a lot faster than that. See if it's speeding up a little bit. Check the RPMs again. thick wire on there so we'll see what we can come up with. It's showing point one zero. Yeah we'll probably need to let bigger wire. I'm getting a fluctuation reading there, huh? Yeah. 1.26, yeah, I'll probably have to go up every wire. What is that, number 12? Yeah, it's still gaining voltage though. 24.6 yeah. now. 24.6? Yeah. What do you got over there? Uh, I can't get a good reading on it. Okay. Yeah, I have a hard time getting an amp reading off the free phase. Might be because of dirty voltage. Yeah, they already went up with 24.6. Anyway, we're still running on uh, 10 transistors. I got a few more I've got to add on here. Let's see what I can come up with. Let's charge batteries. 1434. What are you getting now? 6.7, 6.9 on the 7. So we're getting a lot more amps out than what we're using. 8 points. Yeah. This was, what was this over here again? This was uh, 4 point something. And then we were getting 8.4, what? 8.4, what? Okay, that's not too bad. Making a little bit of power here, guys. All right, but she's up and running. We got a little bit more tinkering to do. We're going to try a couple of different size uh, spacers, and uh, uh, the one of the collar lockers is not on there straight, so that's why we got a little bit of a wobble. And we'll tinker around and check with all these connections. But so far, she's working pretty good. We're using uh, four point what six? amps to run it and we we're getting over eight amps off the reading there that's not too bad plus we're charging yep plus we're charging another run battery so we'll see what we can do some tinkering tomorrow or actually later on today and show you up another video we'll see you guys later